Hi, in this video we'll be looking at question 26 from the 2015 HSC Software Design and Development exam. It's an algorithm question and it's worth four marks. So, uh, a club has 200 members. Each member's information is contained in an unsorted array of records called members. The ID for each member is unique. Okay, so we have uh, an array of records, it's not sorted, so there's an array where each element in that array in that array is a record and each record has um, different fields. Uh, now this uh, array of records is unsorted. The following algorithm displays the name of a member after the member's ID is entered. So we have begin, uh, get member ID uh, as input. Then we have a for loop with a counter that starts from one and ends at 200. And an if statement that checks if the member ID that was entered is equal to members counter.id. So using that counter in the for loop, uh, in each iteration of the loop, as the counter increases, we can access each member um, or each uh, element from the members array using the counter as the index. So for example, if the counter starts at one, then in the first iteration of the loop, we'll be checking members one.id. And then in the second iteration of the loop, we'll be checking members two.id and so on. So each element of that member's uh, array, um, which we can use an index to access each element, each element is a record which uh, stores different fields. Uh, it stores an ID and a name. So basically in this if statement, if the member ID entered is equal to um, the ID of the member that the for loop is up to in checking, then it's going to display members counter.name. So It'll get that member and display their name or what's stored in the name field. That's the end of the if statement. And then that's the end of the for loop and the algorithm. So what we need to do is rewrite the algorithm so that it displays a message saying invalid ID if the ID entered is not found. So if it doesn't exist in this array of records. And also so that the linear search terminates or ends as soon as a member's name has been displayed. So there's no point uh, in continuing to search through all 200 members uh, if we have already found a member with that ID. All right, so um, I'm going to run through a modified version of the sample answer for this exam question. And we'll start by writing begin. Now, we need to still get the member ID as input. So we can say get member ID. And uh, we did have a for loop here that just um, basically counted through every single member from one to 200. But um, because we want the linear search here using a loop, because we want it to end as soon as a member's name has been displayed, we're going to need another condition here where in the loop we can check if basically um, that member that we're looking for has not been found yet. So we can use a Boolean variable for that. We can say found and set that initially to false. And that will change to true once we do find a member with that ID. Um, and because we've got this second condition, so we need to basically check that um, the counter is not uh, over 200, or it's less than 200. Uh, and we, but we also need to check that if found is still false to be able to repeat the loop. So instead of using the for loop, because we've got two conditions here to check, we can use a while loop instead. So um, if we're going to use a while loop, though, it doesn't have a built-in counter, so we're going to have to create a counter. Now, there's two ways we can do this. We can either set the counter to zero or one. If we set it to one, then um, we don't. We need to make sure we increment the counter at the end of the loop. If we set it to zero, we need to make sure we increment the counter at the beginning of the loop. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, now, the reason why is because, uh, remember, remember when we're working in pseudocode, indexing of arrays starts from one, not from zero, like in most programming languages. So because indexing starts at one in pseudocode, um, we need to make sure that the counter um, inside the loop is going to start um, 
from one uh, is going to access the first element in the array um, which first, which has an, an index of one, not zero. So we can set the counter here to zero if we like, but when we work in this while loop, we're gonna to have to remember to um, increase that counter to, to one before we um, check or use that counter to check an ID. So we can write the while loop. We can say while, oops, let's fix that up. While found is equal to false. So as long as a member hasn't been found and the counter that we're up to is less than 200. Now remember because counter set to zero here and it's going to increment firstly inside the loop. So we don't need to say less than or equal to 200 here. Um, if we set the counter at one to start with and increment it at the end of the loop, then we'd want to make sure that the counter was less than, uh, less than or equal to 200. All right. So, um, we can also uh, say something like end counter is less than length of uh, members array. And that would make this algorithm more reusable uh, if the length of the members array changed. So if more members were added or if members were taken out of the array. So what we can actually do is modify that by just saying end counter is less than length of members array. And that makes the algorithm more reusable. Okay, so now what we need to do inside this while loop, so just indent over a little bit, we need to increase the counter by one. So we say counter equals counter plus one. We can do that straight away before we access any elements from this array. Okay, so counter equals counter plus one. Now we can have an if statement that checks if the member ID provided oops, is uh, equal to members, so the members array, and specifically an element in the members array using the counter as an index. dot dot id then um, we can set found to be equal to true and we can just end that if statement and we can also end the while loop so what that means is as soon as this linear search uh, using this loop, as soon as it found, finds a, an ID in the members array for a particular member that matches the member ID provided as input, as soon as that happens, it's going to set this found Boolean variable to true, which means in the next iteration of the while loop, when it checks this condition, found is no longer going, going to be equal to false. So the, end, the while loop will end and go down to here where we can have another if statement to display uh, an appropriate message here. So invalid ID if found is, is equal to false. And maybe uh, print the member's name if found was equal to um, true, which is what we wanna do. We wanna display the name of that member. So we can say uh, after this while loop, if found, equals true, or we can just shorten that to if found, then print, or we can use the display keyword as well, members counter, remembering that the counter didn't increment after we, we found the member with that matching ID because it, it increments increases at the start of the loop. So we still have the right counter here to use. So print members dot name 
else. So found is still equal to false after going through the whole loop. Uh, then we can just say print invalid ID as it didn't find any member with the ID provided. That's the end of the if statement and the end of the algorithm. That's it. Thanks for watching.